All right, let's do the check it, the weigh in. So this is day one, carnivore diet. Ugh. Wow, 287.2. All right, okay, well that's what I did. That's the damage I did in two days. I feel that's wrong, but there we go. Hey, look, I've got a new mic. Anyway, uh, so hopefully it should sound better now. All right, so I'm on day one carnivore diet. Um, still worried about my scales, but I, I checked the bottom of the scales because I, th I thought they were off, right? Um, so what you don't see is that I weighed myself 30 seconds before the one you just saw, and I was 291.8. And I know I'm not 291.8, I've lost weight. So I stepped off. I stepped on again, and I was 287. Um, but I know I'm not 287 either, because last night I was 283. So I don't know. There's like, it, it's really off. But I checked the bottom of the scale, and it says up to 400 pounds. So it's not, I'm not near the limit of it. So I don't know. It might just be a really crappy scale. So I'll do some research into getting a new scale today. I guess I could get one of those, like, proper upright ones, which, you know, are guaranteed to be accurate. Accurate. But I think that might piss Laura off having to use that every day. Um, but I'm going to see. I'm going to try and find a new scale. But anyway, day one of the carv carnivore diet. I started with uh, bacon and eggs <clears throat> this morning. Delicious. Just cooked in bacon grease. I collected the bacon grease. I'm looking on my desk like it's here. Um, and then I've got some. I've got lots of meat in the house. So I've got mince. I've got bacon. Uh, mince beef, bacon. <clears throat> I've got lots of steaks, I've uh, got tons of chicken wings, chicken breasts. The problem is the chicken breasts are skinless. I don't know if you noticed this, but most of the breasts that I buy now are skinless. It's, it's harder to find breasts with skin. I don't know. It's the anti-fat bot lobby, man. Bringing us all down with them. <clears throat> <clears throat> anyway. All right. So today starts with the carnivore diet. Pretty excited. Lots of food. Keep you posted. I probably won't do a video every day. I'm going to put this one up tomorrow morning um, just to say, you know, here we go. But I don't think I'll do a video every day just because it's going to take longer to lose weight, I think. Um, but I'll keep an eye on how I feel. My skin condition was back yesterday because of, you know, reasons. And um, that's it. I've got no left, no potatoes left. I've got no bread in the house. Not having any sugar. It's basically meat 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 oh so i just looked up the digital scale right so i have something called an eat smart precision digital and i looked it up and looking up reminded me why we bought it we bought it because it's really really accurate right so now I'm thinking, all right, I've got to change the batteries or something. Let me just do a bit of research. So I looked into it. Turns out, if you move the scale, you have to recalibrate it. And <laughs> I've been moving it to try and get the right weight. Not, not just a lighter weight, but a more consistent weight. So you have to recalibrate it. So what you have to do is you set the scale where you want it. You tap it with your foot till the light comes on, and then you just leave it until it turns itself off. And here's the thing. When it's recalibrating, it's got these little kind of spinning symbols on the LCD display that look like a recalibrating display. I just never thought that's what it was. I thought it was warming up or something. Um, so you have to recalibrate it. So I've just recalibrated it, and you can move it, and it will be accurate as long as you recalibrate it. So I think that's that problem sorted out. Um so yeah, I just weighed myself again, and the weight we got this morning is accurate. It was the, the, the one where I was lighter, and the one where I was heavier are wrong. I'm 287. So, good. All right. Scales work. Nice. So I just went to Costco to stock up on meat. Uh, two things. Firstly, absolutely packed. Wednesday afternoon, and massively packed i mean costco has more shopping carts than any other store i've ever been to and they were out of shopping carts so it was jam-packed um and they were trying to social distance people and people weren't doing well everyone had their mask on which was good but packed made me worry actually it made me think um why why are people stocking up they've also put a limitation on toilet paper again 
I don't know. Am I missing something here? Is there another panic going on? Is it because the numbers of numbers of COVID went up? But anyway, it was packed. Second thing I figured out was, uh, wow, this is going to be an expensive diet because Costco's cheap, and I just spent two hundred and fifty dollars on meat. And you know, I got a lot of stuff. I got lots of beef. I got tons of chicken wings. I got um, some pork ribs. I got some lamb. But still, I would say maybe three weeks of food, if I stretch it, maybe a little bit less. I know that your appetite goes down when you eat a lot of protein, so hopefully that will happen, but I don't know. It's expensive. It certainly isn't the potato diet where I could eat for like, you know, a quid a day or a, a buck a day, but a little worrying. <laughs> Might lose weight, but then be broke. Mm. Hey, so I wanted to quickly go through my diet for this um Still on day one, but I wanted to just... Uh, actually, the start of day two, I'm about to weigh myself. But I wanted to go through the list of things uh, that I'll be eating. So this is my entire diet. Okay. Water. Firstly, that's it. I only get to drink water, right? Food-wise, it's going to be uh, chicken wings. Now, the chicken wings don't have as much fat, even though with the skin on, but they're absolutely delicious. Get them from Costco. Throw them in the oven and bake them. 375 for about... 45 minutes because they're only uh, on uh, convection because they're only little wings so they cook quickly amazing i've got ground beef i'm going to make burger patties um i'm going to try making like a like a minced beef um flavorful minced beef but the thing is i don't want to use too many spices salt and pepper only so anyway ground beef for burger patties at very least uh ribeye steak i got sent those through the mail by jerry i think i said that um ground turkey this is I don't know what I'm going to use it for because it's very low fat, so I'm going to have to add a lot of fat. Um, but Laura eats it as well. So uh, I'll find a thing I can make with ground turkey. I can make turkey burgers. I just need to add a lot of fat somehow, and I'm not sure how. Anyway, ground turkey. Uh, butter and cheese. Uh, I can have as much of either as I want, although I'm not really going to have that much. I'll have a lot of ghee because I'll be cooking in ghee. But um, butter and cheese, I, I mean, I guess I have cheese with my eggs, maybe cheese with some of the ground beef and stuff. Anyway, bacon. I um, want to be careful with how much bacon I have just because there's a lot of added stuff in it, lots of sugars and stuff. And really, that's the cheat. Bacon is a cheat on this diet, I feel. I feel. If you're just going for pure meat, you know. Uh, sausages, I found some that were mostly pork. They do have other ingredients, but it's very low. It's mostly pork. Um... Ribs, I've got some, what do I have, baby back or pork loin, back ribs, back ribs, I don't know, pork ribs, um, which I'll be cooking up on my barbecue, on my grill, uh, and then I have uh, several la lax, racks of lamb in the freezer from Costco, uh, I'll be chopping those up, cutting those up into chops, and grilling those, or broiling those actually, uh, I have a leg of lamb I'll cook up at some point, and then I can just eat lamb during the week. Uh, and I want to go and buy a side of beef. I'm going to make like a pot roast or something like that. Uh, pot roast. It's water and beef uh, cooked till tender. That's it. Uh, and then add bone broth to cook everything in. That's it. That's everything I'm eating. Wings, beef, steak, turkey, butter, cheese, bacon, sausages, ribs, bone broth, uh, lamb, and a big side of beef Beef at some point. That's it. Hmm. All right. Well... I'm going to go weigh myself. I'm excited. And uh, see you tomorrow.